Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here, and for today I want to cover what I consider to be a very important dev blog. Um, honestly, I would highly recommend everyone to go and check it out if they have the chance, because it's about the great ship skill changes of the summer of 2013. So these are about the upcoming skill changes um, which are planned for the uh, summer expansion. And uh, to be honest, at first uh, I thought it was it was basically going to be about the racial destroyer and uh, battle cruiser skills, but it's really um, a lot more far-reaching than that. Uh, it's got an impact on quite a lot of the ships, and uh, yeah, I, I, even I, you know, it has impacts on as far as Titans, and I don't, I can't really put all of those into context for you because I've never flown a Titan and I don't know what all the changes will exactly mean for people that have the uh, have the ambition uh, of training for one of those ships. So once again, uh, to start off, I would really highly recommend you guys uh, check out the dev blog for yourself if, if you know um, that you're going to be playing EVE Online until then and you have some sort of skill planning in mind. Uh, this is definitely something that you have to keep in mind uh, and, and, and to plan for. Um, so we already know that the destroyers and the battle cruiser skills are going to be split up into four racial versions. Um, I'm not going to go off the entire uh, dev blog um, in full detail, as you can see it's quite extensive. Uh, but a few important points I think I can make for you guys. First of all, if you'll be able to fly a ship uh, if you can fly a ship right now, you'll be able to fly it after the changes as well. Even if uh, the skill changes uh, mean that you don't have all the prerequisites. Uh, normally CCP is going to try and make it so that you'll still be able to fly it. But of course, um, you know, there, there will be those prerequisites that you don't have yet. Um, so hopefully that won't impact anyone's immediate gameplay. So I think I'll move straight here to this to uh, to the destroyer, for instance, um, where the prerequisites, as you can see, change from Amar Frigate 3, Spaceship Command 1, Destroyer Level 1, and Spaceship Command uh, to Level 3, to just Amar Frigate 3, Spaceship Command Level 1, and then Amar Destroyer 1. And the overall time here remains on 9 hours and 10 days. So it's it's not just that they uh, switch out uh, destroyer one into a Mar destroyer one, Galente destroyer one, etc. They're they're completely overhauling the prerequisites on a lot of the ships. It's something definitely that uh, if you have ambition to fly one of these ships and or if you want to get the most out of your training time, you really should check out all the details in this dev blog. Um, but like I said, the first important point is that they're going to try and make it so that. Um, that you'll still be able to fly all the ships you can fly right now. I think what's pretty important as well is obviously uh, you want to have your destroyer skills to uh, level 5 and your battle cruiser skill to level 5 as well. If on top of that you have all the prerequisites as well, which I think are all the racial frigate and cruiser skills up to respectively, I think it's level um, 3. Racial Frigate level 3 requires move that progress it. Yeah, I think it's it's both on level 3. Um, so for the frigates and the cruisers. Uh, because if you have that, if you have destroyer 5, battle cruiser 5, frigates, I think it's 3, but it could be 5, and cruisers 3, uh, for all the races, you will get um, the destroyer uh, this destroyer skill for all the races up to level 5 as well. And same with the battle cruisers. So it's not just a matter of training your battle cruiser skill to five and training your um, cruiser, uh, your destroyer skill to five. You also have to try and train uh, all the racial frigate and cruiser skills to a, to a, to a significant level uh, in order to get all the extra um, new racial destroyer and battle cruiser skills. If you manage to do this, that does mean that you'll get 6 million extra skill points, which is something you have to keep in mind as well for your jump clone. Um, let's have a quick look here. Splitting the battle cruiser skill into four racial variants. All these new skill books will have the same training attributes, rank and cost. 
Um, racial cruiser level 3 requirements moved as a prerequisite for the racial brat battle cruiser skills uh, reduced from 4 to 3. Um, so I'm not sure if these are actually complete times but what you can for instance see right here they have the oracle is that the time remaining here is four days and it's being reduced to one day uh, so on some of the ships you'll actually see that trading time will be reduced up to quite significantly and they'll make it quite a lot easier to get into some of the other ships um, and i think it's with the bigger ships where you'll see some more significant changes this for instance is uh, the archon a carrier now um, like I said, I don't know all of the exact changes that will be here, but one thing you should notice quite quite clearly is that in on the before chart, there's quite a, a, a few skills missing from the after chart. What this means is that uh, there are quite a few extra skills, which are generally support skills that any carrier pilot uh, will absolutely want to have anyways are being moved into the prerequisites and like I said this could mean um, that that uh, yeah that you need some skills that you don't have for some reason a lot of people would call you uh, pretty stupid for not having those skills but it could happen uh, for instance that you don't have jump drive calibration up to level 3 I don't think I can see that here in the prerequisites for some reason but you can uh, fly a carrier Yep, th th these are quite significant changes and uh, I have to be honest, I can't really gauge all of them like that either. I can show you that right here on the before part, it's 145 days to get into the Archon. And here uh, on the after part, it's 146 days. So that's pretty much the same. If we look at the uh, Dreadnoughts, we go for 107 days to 106 days. That's also pretty much the same. And for the Avatar Titan 196 to 192. So for the big, for the really large ships, the super capitals and uh, some of the capitals, um, trading time remains pretty much the same. But on some other ships, I've noticed it's it's quite different. Uh, let me see if I can find some of those. That all still looks pretty much the same. Um, <laughs> where was it? Yep, let's say here the Iteron Mark V, Galente Industrial V, Galente uh, Frigate Level 3, Spaceship Command Level 3, Spaceship Command Level 1. And uh, now you just need Galente Industrial Level 1, Spaceship Command Level 3. So that goes from 24 days to 33 minutes. Uh, it will be a lot easier, for instance, to get an Iteron Mark V. Now, I don't know why people would then still go for the smaller Iterons. Um, but all right, that's that's basically the decision they're making, and I'm I I, I want to use this example right here to show that some of the training uh, times will be reduced quite drastically, like right here with the Iteron Mark V. Some may become a little bit longer. Uh, right here we have the freight going from 29 days to 35 days, um, whereas uh, even the mining barges like the Covter, these will have some changes in there as well and uh, the orca was also a pretty extreme example uh, 49 days reduced to 17 days and the list of uh, needed prerequisites uh, is also quite a lot shorter than it was before and if i'm, I'm correct in, in what i read in the comments it will be a lot easier to fly an orca so that one could become quite a lot more popular and easy to fly thus orca investment it's once again an opportunity and there we go, the asteroids are depleted, so let's just pick two new ones. Won't be that long anymore. And there we go. Uh, what is this one? Capital industrial ship. Uh, 84 to 87 days, that's not really a big change. Um, but yeah, um, once again, you know, to reiterate, this is an extremely important dev post uh, for the people that want to get the most out of their skills. Um, I think this is only the first of many warnings we'll get uh, since this is only planned for the summer expansion but because it's a really big impact uh, on skill training, on skill planning um, on, on all the, the skills needed to fly certain ships uh, I think it's really good that CCP is giving us this much warning for people to prepare uh, for these changes and uh, to be able to uh, look look them over in, in, in a lot of detail uh, so they can decide for themselves what, what their course of action is that they want to take. Um, 
and uh, yeah also of course for market opportunities this is definitely something to keep in mind as well uh, if I look at this just at the first glance how easy it's gonna be to fly an Itron Mark V and um, the the uh, the Orkia I, I do expect that these two ships could increase in price whereas the Itron 4 and all the the ones below there could see a ser serious uh, reduction in demand because how easy it's going to be to just get your pilot into a Nitron Mark V. Uh, this could have some serious uh, market impact as well, and uh, there's potential to make some money out of these changes if you're if you're on time and if you look at them closely enough. And uh, yeah, as you can see, as I quickly go over the entire dev blog again, this will have a serious impact on quite a lot of ships. Uh, all the super capitals, the carriers, uh, a lot of the faction ships as well are being changed. And of course the battle cruisers and the destroyers will get um, significant changes as well. Even the command ships, as you can see here, uh, change as well. And they get quite a, quite a long list uh, on there as well. So, um, yeah, from what I from what I got, uh, train your destroyer skills to 5 if you can, your battle cruiser skill as well. Uh, keep in mind that you'll need to uh, to uh, be have all your racial skills for frigates and cruisers um, up to snuff as well if you want to get the most out of the extra um, um, extra skill points you'll get from from these changes and then if you have uh, the ambition to fly larger ships uh, like carriers or uh, uh, dreadnoughts maybe even command ships uh, the Hulk, uh, the Freighter, etc. Uh, you do want to take a, a close look at that, um, at this dev block and see how all these uh, skills will change because it's uh, it's quite a lot to take in. Anyways, there you go, guys. As promised, a quick look uh, on the on this dev post about uh, ship skill changes. Um, I'm sure I'll, I'll get to do another uh, video on this as a CCP uh, gives out more warnings and more details about these changes. But I think they're very important and very crucial uh, for people to be informed about. So there you go and I'll see you all next time.